Hey, hey, guys, welcome to episode six of Draco Plays All the Mods, number two, for 1.11.2. In our last episode, we made the Actual Editions drill, we charged it up, we had some fun with it, and then I went off and did some exploring. And um, I accumulated three or four deaths, lost all my XP. Yeah, it wasn't very good. Lost some armor. Uh, somewhere, was it that way? Over there, there's a roguelike dungeon at that village. And I went down, made it to level two, and started exploring, and it just went downhill after that. So, I decided for today's episode, we've done five episodes using actual editions, right? Well, let's put up actual editions for now. Let's go do something that we've never done before on this channel. We're going to play with Astral Sorcery. I think that might be fun. So let's put that up, put that up. Sorry, I had to make some more armor because you saw I was pretty much out of armor. I was going to start doing cyberware in this one, but cyberware is a little bit different. I looked it up between episodes, looked at the wiki, and you've got to find stuff. It's not just the ability to make stuff. So you, if you click on, like, you can't click on anything. What you have to do is you have to go in the Nether Fortress. And somewhere in the Nether Fortress is in one of the chests in there, you find a Robo Surgeon. And then you can make a surgery chamber. You put this down, then you put this on top of this. And then you're able to start doing stuff. So until I get down and really explore down in there, that's just not going to happen. Instead, we're going to do Astral Sorcery. So luckily, I have walked around this map a little bit. We're going to make ourselves a bigger bag first. Let's go back to this. Actually, sack. I just want to make one of these really quick. Uh, I'm missing a chest. Do this. Pop, 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 pop. Excellent. This in there. And this is this. It's just a great big sack. Perfect. Okay, so the first thing we need to, need to do, when you first open up the Astral Sor Sorcery book, this is what you see. You don't see anything. So naturally, when I looked at this, you know, a few weeks ago when I started this mod pack, I'm like, well, that's kind of useless. It looks like the Thomcraft book, but it doesn't do anything. So, Mischief of, Mischief of Mice, who's an amazing YouTuber. He's got like 7,000 followers, so he's much bigger than I am. He did a handy little tutorial that I found on Reddit a while ago. And lo and behold, you just use your mouse wheel and zoom in on this stuff, and bam, look at that. There's stuff. The first thing we need to do is find ancient shrines. Now, what he pointed out, and I failed to notice, you see the lines, and see how there's light traveling between other stuff? That tells you the order to go in. So marble, we've got marble, city marble, luminous stuff. So we need to find one of these. And on my journey map, uh, no, there we go. We do have an astral temple with a crystal in it. So that's 3,000 meters away. And when I looked at the map, there's a temple, there's a temple, or something. I don't really know what this is, to be honest with you. So I want to go see what that is. And there's a temple there. There's one there. There's one there. I'll zoom out just a hair. I'm pretty sure we can find something close by. Without having, to, without having to go somewhere over in here. You can see that's just too far away to have to go. So we've got to be something closer by. So we're going to start this way. And we're going to see what this is. Then we're going to head up to there. So let's just save that. We're going to head that away. 14026. Um, I'm not going to take any wood, but I will take an axe. When I was doing the roguelike dungeons, I found a nice little diamond axe. So I will take that with me. Because then I can chop down trees. There's no need to carry wood when, when we're going to be walking through a forest, right? All right, so let's go see what's over here. This isn't too far away, so I'll just stay on screen and kind of talk to you a little bit. And I've apparently walked past this. I just don't remember what it is. 
45 meters. Oh, it's another roguelike dungeon. Ho, ho, ho. I guess where we're not going. We're not going in there. So from here, I turn that away, which is what? Northwest? And go up the hill. There should be one right up here. So there should be one of these things up here. And that's either a tree or it. I don't know which. Well, that's a tree. It should be right up in here somewhere. There it is, okay. Now there's different versions of these, and apparently the higher they are, the better they are. Let's take this augment out. I don't want to like blow this thing up. And apparently it's going to grab some of this. Oh, I don't know what does this. Every single time I reload this game, it turns my auto jump back on. I don't know what's doing that. Now, according to Mischief of Mice, under one of these pillars, there should be a chest. Aha, check that out. Okay. Oh, look at that, I got some stuff. I'm just gonna pick up all that. And then he said, you can right click this, shift right click it, it's Visio, Armara and Visio. So two of those in there. We don't need the other Visio. This one is just a partial one. So we've seen that one. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to explore all these little temples. See if I can find some that are higher up. So you can see me in the map real quick I can head towards. That was another roguelike dungeon. One over there, but that's an open water like I have now. Yeah, I'm going to explore a little bit. See if I can find like a big altar. And then I'll be right back. All right. So don't go anywhere. I'll be back in just a moment. All right, guys and gals. This took a little bit longer than I thought that it would. And you see where we ended up. Right at the stupid temple I didn't want to go to in the first place. Well, I traversed a lot of land. Went around the side over here, cut through over here, came through these plains right here in this desert, hit this temple over here, went through here, hit that temple over here, hit that temple, walked through this entire huge sand mountain, cut all through here, went through this forest here, kind of went through it this way, and there's my home back over here. So we are 3,000 meters from home. It took me about three Minecraft days to get here. Not because it's that far away. I could have made all the trip in probably one day. It took me that long to get here because I was just exploring and having fun. And let me tell you, I may have to go back and devote a few episodes of the series to just plain old exper exploration. Because there is, this place is just... The train's amazing to look at. There's no other way to say it. All right, let's let my FPS meter catch back up. Here we go. Let's jump down in here. Let's have a little look-see. Poof, there we go. All right, so this had a chest in it, and I've already cleaned that chest out, and I think there was another one over here. I've already cleaned it out. Yeah, I did this my first trip through here. So here's how this works. By my understanding, uh, we'll take a table... We put it, let's throw some of these down. Okay, we'll put the table right there. Oh yeah, see how the crystal starts to shine down on it? Yeah. So, it's still going to be a regular crafting table. We didn't actually do anything. So what we need to look at is not that. Okay, here we go. <clears throat> I'm going to cut off some of this water. Maybe they'll help me not lag quite as badly. I have my doubts, but we'll see. I don't even know how I got in here the first time. I think it was up there. We'll see. 
Okay, so first things first. We got the ancient shrines. Now you can read all this for yourself. I'm not going to read it to you. The important thing to note is there are hints in every single chapter. So for example, maybe placing a crafting table nearby would yield interesting results. How do you think I knew to do this and get the nice little light down there? Hey, hey. Pretty nifty, right? It's got the sea lantern up there. The sea lantern's not actually doing anything. So let's see what step two would be. Constellation papers. Now, we did pick up some of these as we went. This shows you how to make the guide in case you're not playing the same pack I am and they didn't start you off with a journal. You take three of, the, three of these aquamarines, which are, if you spawn near an ocean or some place with a lot of sand underwater, they're just sand with blue lines on them. Take a shovel, dig them up, and these pop up for you. So, let's see. Looking number, it appears that each call shows a different set of stars to start with, but eventually they start showing up blank. Parchment. Further inspection, it seems as though they are written in chanted such ways and not show charts that are already mapped or in the reader's inventory. As such, it would be put in the blank papers for other passive scholars. Oh, that makes sense. So I've got some of those. Now we need a wand, which means two pieces of marble, two of these blue things, and an ender pearl. Let's see, when using a crafting table near one of the strange crystals in ancient ruins, the crystal instinctively focuses a single ray of light onto the table. We've seen that. The light is dim, but it seems to have an effect on the malleability and the density of certain materials. This unlocks various recipes. Maybe there's something deep underground. Hmm. When it's held in either hand at night, it vibrates and emits energetic sparks of white light that gather in seemingly random locations around the surface of the land. So we have to go deep. I'm talking deep to do this correctly, but let's go to make one of these. So let's go back to add astral. Wand. Oh, there's different ones. Illumination, formation, conversion. Resonating is the one we want. So we need two blues, two marbles, and an ender pearl. We do actually have all that. Because I found an ender pearl in a chest. There's two of those. And any kind of marble will do, so we'll just take some of this right here. We do this, let's see, those went there, those went there, those went there, right? That looks right. Let's see if marble pillars are part of that. Maybe marble pillars are not part of that. Maybe I got the wrong kind of marble. Because those are showing chisel marbles. And I'm showing astral sorcery marbles. Ender Pearl, Aquamarine, two of those. Do I have to make that first? I don't think I do. Is it to be nighttime? Let's so just dig out of this really quick. Uh, where's my augments? Actually, you know what? It might be better to do it like this. Let's do this. Oh, but it's definitely nighttime. Let's, do, let's put some of these up just so we're not shocked by things coming out at us. Alrighty then. So there's home right there, 3,000 meters away. This thing should be working. You can't actually harvest that as far as I know. Quick. Yeah. I guess this kind of marble instead. Ha! There we go. Now we got our wand. Pick our table up. You know, let's go in and sleep this night away. Actually, you know what? Watch this. I haven't done this yet, but according to that... Yeah, look at that. It'll actually have stuff coming up out of the ground so you know where to go dig. Yeah, let's go sleep. Let's go sleep before we get zombified.
No, no, give me my bed. Yeah, see him, he's dying. He doesn't know where to go. Just stay down there. Good job. Alright, now while we're down here, I think I've already checked this out, but I didn't show y'all on camera. So let's go look at this really quickly. This is pretty nifty too, if it's what I think it is. Oh, there's another village over there too. Okay, there's all this. Yeah, it's a root structure. So there's a zombie down in there. How did I get in there a while ago? I think I jumped in there. Let's just leave them to themselves. I've already been down there and took this out, if I'm not mistaken. Let's see. Ooh, maybe I haven't. Like that and that. Don't need that. Gunpowder might come in handy. Go kill someone. Is that a witch? I got poisoned? That's never good. Okay, it looks like I've not been to this one before. So let's grab that, that, that. That was leather too. We can always use more leather. Yeah. If I'm not mistaken, these are put here by... What do you call them? Either roots or embers. Uh, roots, that's it. The thatched roof. I found a thatched house a while ago that had a couple of chests in it, but the chests were empty, so it wasn't worth putting them on camera. Let's go check out this village really quickly. I don't know if I've shown y'all a village on camera yet. Okay, what's in... Man, my FPS is down or nothing. Let's let it load the map up. Apparently my recording has something to do with that. You hear the pigs in the background there? Okay, let's just give this a second to get up and going here. Come on, FPS. FPS, here we go. Uh -huh. This is a pergola. This is from Terraquius. It's just a structure you can make for decoration. There's nothing special about it. It's not magical or anything. There we go. Did I show y'all Elpex houses? They're pretty neat. And I love the way he did them. Simply because you can't take stuff from them. Like, if I go up here... Oh, this one's built a little bit differently. Like, say I wanted to take this with me, I couldn't do it. Because if I go to break it... See the little message? It literally breaks. Ooh, well, that's some good stuff. But you can take the wooden casings. Like that. Because those will come in handy when you try to make more stuff. But like the stuff down here, you can't take the coffee maker, you can't take the canola press. You can take the canolas out of the press, but I'm good on those. Don't need that. Hmm. Oh, I'm full. Okay, let's see. Iron boots, two, one. Let's take those, get rid of those. Okay. I can't take that either. Is that another village up there? Have I been over there yet? Nope, that's another village. Oh, look, there's another one of these. Must be over here. That mountain's am I going the right direction. Should be right over there. 
Let's go see what's in that one really quickly. I don't know, not that. I want a real temple. Grr. So this is really high up. Remember what I said at the beginning of the episode about the higher up it is, the more of the temple is formed. So this is an example of the kind of temples I've been finding during this whole exploration adventure. Nope. Yep. Ooh, more ender pearls. Okay, we need to put some stuff up. Let's put those in there, those in there. I don't need that, honestly. Put you in there. Shouldn't need that again for now. Don't need that, don't need that. We don't need those. Okay. I do want all this, though. Let's walk a few steps, and I'm going to use my home command to get back to the to the house. So I found an area a while ago, about halfway here, that I really wish I'd have stopped and built in. Because it made such a better area than the one we're actually living on by the coast. Talking mountains, to, mountains on all the sides, there's like a valley in between a bunch of mountains. I mean, it was just totally amazing. Okay, I don't see anything else. Ocean there, nothing on there. And a lot of these white things here are actually clouds in the sky from a different mod. Uh, I don't want to go all the way. I'm walk a little bit more. Then we're going to go back and try and finish off this part of the book. Then. In the next episode, we can go to the next part of the book. Funny how that works. Which is fine. I got plenty of coconut juice and we got plenty of coconut tobacco in the house. I'm going to have to get a horse. I have to tame up a horse. I already do that one. No, that's the other village that I saw. Okay. I don't know if there's another village. Maybe there'll be another one of those underground huts right here. Let's see. Oh, nifty. Okay. I did update the pack a while ago before I started filming this episode. So we are currently on the newest pack. And uh, what the drunk on Reddit told me this morning. Is that the one I already went down in? That they're adding mechanism to the pack tomorrow. So I'll be doing another update then. Let's just go down here. Let's get mechanism included because mechanism's fine. Woo! I don't need that, but I do need those. Something in here and drop off. Not the lamp. I don't care about that. I don't care about the cobblestone or the flowers. Or that or that to be honest with you. Nothing here trying to kill me right now, so that's good. Two or three. That'll be fine. That'll make for a different kind of gameplay once we get to help us get more stuff going. All right, let's see if we can get back out of here now. Perfect. All right, let's go see if there's anything up here worth going to. We're not going to go down underground yet. We do need to build one of these. To do this, this takes this right here, which is okay. I don't, um, in order to craft with the luminous crafting table, the table must be right clicked with a resonating one after the items used. Okay, I see. That'll be the last thing to make. City marble is just marble with coal around it. I'm sure I got plenty of marble. If not, I can get some. I just want to go see what's up here really quickly. Let's go up and up and up and up and up. I'm not even going to bother with going to this house because I've looted so many of these houses. I got a bunch of that stuff laying around. I just haven't shown off yet.
Okay, here we go. That house right there is what I'm looking for. Man, my lag is real. I'm normally running about 100 FPS. I don't know what's happening today. I think the next adventure, we're either going to go down to the nether. I cannot honestly remember if I've shown off or not. Ooh. Definitely not that. Oh my god. Definitely want that. We'll take another helmet. We can melt that down. Oh, that one's doing pretty good on its own. Oh, it's going to be nighttime again. Let's just get in the house here for now for safety. So all the villagers are about to make a break for it, so we'll do the same thing. That's interesting. Sleep in here. Okay, perfect. Make sure there's nothing else in this village before we go back. Let's go on and mark this village number four, I think. Okay, those farmers aren't doing their job very well. See, look, I sleep, and then this is turned back on again. What is happening down there? Huh. Anything in here? There's a skeleton down there. Oh, it's a black skeleton, too. Let's go after him. I feel good today. Got him. Okay. Oh, yeah, this was totally worth it. We're going to go from here back to the house, I do believe. Oh, yeah. So we got almost an entire stack of gold out of this little adventure. This is worth it. Okay, so let's go back to the house. Um, Jiraiku, poof. Back to the house we are. Let's see if I get my FPS back here. If not, I'm going to try something before I record the next episode. Uh, let's go on and store some stuff away. Get rid of you and you. Let's see if this is working correctly yet. No, it's still not working correctly. I don't know what's happening to this. Interesting. I threw it in there instead. I don't understand this thing. I'm going to have to get refined storage up and going. Next couple episodes might be refined storage just so I can get that going. Because I just totally don't understand this whole laser thing. I had it working, it worked great, and then it quit working. <sighs> well, I am in a group with Elpec. Maybe he can give me some pointers. All right, so. I think that's what I wanted to accomplish this time. Uh, let's go and make this really quick. I guess we could do that. Marble, city, and that. We got marbles. How much marble do I have? Let's go find out. Did I mine any marble? Wow, I really didn't. I want you, I want you. I know I want you. There are different tiers too. There's the luminous and then that one. There's the attunement, starlight crafting, celestial. So this takes a bunch of stuff. A bunch of stuff. But for now, we're not going to worry about that. We're going to worry about just this guy right here. Oh, come on. Tell me how to make this. I don't... What is this thing doing? Really? Is it not going to show me? It just showed me a second ago. Y'all guys saw that. Alright, I want to come back and get that made in the next episode because it's not showing me anything. This is how you make it though. Marble, 
table, city marble. Let's just do that really quick. Get a piece of coal. Get you there. You there. That did not work. You gotta be kidding me. Oh, it's all the way around. Okay. I guess all the marbles gotta be the same. So I gotta get some more marble. All right, guys, we'll do that in the next episode. It's been a full 30 minutes. Thank y'all for coming out. I really appreciate that. As always, if you liked the episode, hit the like button. If you really like to share it, if you loved it, hit that subscribe button. Let's see if we can get some more viewers on here and get some more stuff going. Until the next episode, guys, I will see you later. Y'all have a good week.